Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so uh, this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well Rising. A monthly tarot reading November 2019, and bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we can jump right into it. All right, so the first card, which stands for the topic, once again, for the topic of your month, that is going to be the uh, Prince of Pentacles, or in the traditional tarot deck, this card is the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here. That is going to be the Five of Pentacles. The third card represents the intentions that you should adopt throughout the month or the best possible course of action. That is going to be the Four of Cups, Followed by the fourth card here, which stands for the lesson that you are to learn throughout the month of November. And that is going to be the Three of Cups. And the final card that we do have regards to the energies that are to support you throughout the month. This is going to be the uh, Ace of Swords. Uh, so uh, before we go into the reading, guys, let's run the cards one more time. So... Um, Prince of Pentacles stands for the uh, general topic of the month for you, Aquarius, followed by the Five of Pentacles, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome. Third card, it is the Four of Cups, which stands for the intentions that you should adopt throughout the month. Then the fourth card here is going to be the Three of Cups, that represents the lesson that you are to learn, or in other words, why this is all happening. And the last card... <clears throat> The last card here, it is the um, Ace of Swords, which represents the uh, positive energies that are to support you throughout the month. All right, so um, Knights of Pentacles or the Prince of Pentacles, it is uh, the general topic and is going to be catalyzed with the Eight of Swords. So that is a very lost person here that we do have as a topic. That is someone that completely lacks a any kind of sense of emergency. As a matter of fact, this um, this guy or a girl, it could be as well a woman, you know, they, how can I say it, they do not want to even listen to what you or not even you, but anybody around them is to say. They have that severe dis disruption into communication and usually uh, people that are signified by this by this combination which is uh, by the way a passive uh, enemies here they how can i say it it's kind of like well they think that they have figured it all out and instead of keeping up to the uh, original plan that probably they have created with you or you take part of that plan they are now changing it on go uh, in regards to or trying to kind of like align or fit with uh, the 
uh, with the circumstances around and instead of actually helping the situation they are even more um, tightening the news I mean the gallow is really closing out uh, closing around their neck and uh, unfortunately I can't really see any good way or any milder way I would say how you can confront this one unless the way of just simply shout it out in their face you know dude what the hell you're doing you know or why are you now doing these things since we do, since we haven't talked about it now you need to know that these kind of people they usually do not um, share their intentions and that is not because they are neglecting anybody around but because they think that their logic is is paramount and that everybody should think that way they they think that you know it's it's pretty simple and it's kind of like it uh, it's pretty logical it's not even that, even logical it's more like a uh, close to one's mind but um well, how do i say it but it kind of like looks that this person is very stubborn and they don't want to explore different options available and uh, uh, different options available i mean that the options that reside into already existing plan rather than you know changing the plan as you go and that will that will aggravate you to a quite a big of a big of extent especially when you face this wall of ignorance when you try to talk with them so it's very important to be elaborative here throughout the month of November with this particular person because the disruption of communication and the ignorance that uh, the Eight of Swords preaches, they can and should be overcome. And this card could also be related to someone that, especially with the Knights of Pentacles there, to someone who does shenanigans, someone who does these silly, stupid mistakes that they usually wouldn't do. And that is because they find themselves under pressure. They find themselves that what they thought is going to work out doesn't really work out and that makes them go frantic that way that makes them in some extent um in some extents to go berserk even so the next one it regards to the challenges that you need to overcome and that is going to be the five of pentacles and it is catalyzed here by the princess of wands or in the traditional tarot deck that is the page of wands so we do have an impassive neutrals and uh, the previous one was passive enemies and so here you have to fight with the sense of insecurity and the sense of um, uh, pretty much uh, this is what uh, happens here that person uh, the, the the prince of pentacles here attends to things and leave mess behind and so you have to clean up their mess that is the challenge but um, <clears throat> these two cards also are pointing that you shouldn't kind of like I would say throw everything in it or, or rather consume all of your time uh, <clears throat> with it, that is. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. I mean, my code is still catching up with me. Anyway, so the prince of uh, the princess of uh, wants here points that at certain points you're going to have enough of it and um, you wouldn't care how that person, the Prince of Pentacles, is going to feel about what you have to say or are going to, you know, react in regards to your confrontation and your standing out, stepping for your own personal rights, if you want to say it that way, or storming the situation around. Now, here, what it is needed in this particular case, it is a strong mental um, or a big mental strength to stand against them because otherwise the hits won't stop coming i mean the shenanigans won't stop coming as well uh, at all and uh, when you fix one thing he's gonna pretty much mess up two other things right so um in these particular cases the best uh, way i have at least i have found to deal with these uh, situations it is just to put this person aside probably you will have this uh, this opportunity to just kind of like Put them in the reserve if i may say it that way so the next card here represents the intentions that you should have and that is the four of cups a bit baffling cards um accompanied with uh, the nine of cups so we do have a, a passive supporters here 
Hmm. These cards refer to the uh, activities that the Prince of Pentacles has nothing to do with. And these cards are just you to um, put more attention to them instead of trying to fix the Knights of Pentacles mess. And uh, the only way I can think of that that could manifest is that you may feel that it is your responsibility to fix the, um, the bullshits that this person, Prince of Pentacles, created along the way, trying to, you know, to change their plan as they go, thinking that the new maneuver is going to be better than the, than the original maneuver that you have both planned and so on and so forth. So, um, I hear it is kind of like, it does look like that you um, are in a danger to start ongoing battles that are not your battles that this is not your war that person messed up and you gotta leave them to clean up their mess you gotta you gotta leave them to deal with the problem that they have created and instead of jeopardizing everything around um just to give you an example here someone messes up into your career and you spend extra uh, extra time there neglecting your family you know instead of doing that instead of neglecting your own personal security for, to to fix the the mess that someone else has made, especially with the five of pentacles on the second position, you should attend. Your intentions should be to attend to those kind of fields that you can act to actually um, alter the the outcomes, or rather, like alter the events, the things that depend that does depend on you, that you do have control upon them, because these two cards, the four of uh, cups and the nine of cups, are pointing that. These uh, situations that you have full control over, they are uh, reaching their maximum, they are reaching their limits. And after their, the, that limit is reached, you have to secure upon this limit and then think of how you can um, transform this short-term happiness or benefits from the limit into the long-lasting one, either into relationship or either into career. Uh, these cards could speak, for example, for engagement, you know, they could speak for a new project as well, but this will have nothing to do with the main topic. Um, and uh, as a main topic, the Prince of Pentacles, it's uh, uh, simply put, uh, you are not going to be able to get rid of, and at the end of the day, um, it seems that how can I say it? It does seem that you are also going to feel a bit uh, a bit responsible for the mess that they have done, but it doesn't look like that is going to have that big repercussions upon you. So um, here, the the whole game of the month is to have the mental strength to pretty much discern. I would say discern fictional responsibilities from real responsibilities. You do have responsibility, for example, towards your family and not toward the problems that someone else has created. So the lesson that you are to learn or why this is all happening here, we do have the Three of Cups and uh, it is um, accompanied or rather catalyzed by the seven of wands, typical in this uh, in this position or in this situation. Now these cards are an active enemy, uh, passive enemies, excuse me. And what they point it is that you're gonna quickly learn that. Um, well, pretty much shits hit the fan pretty pretty quickly, and uh, basically what these two cards are pointing is that you are going to learn how to. Uh, put certain boundaries in between the separate areas of your life, for example, career and relationship, you know, and not allow either of them to influence the other. And while one of them, it's, um, someone is pretty much wreaking havoc in it, the other one is going to be very, very calm and very, very under control. And you can find respite there, solace, you know, and a pretty much a place to uh, catch up your breath. So uh, we can see here something like the yin and yang, you know, one of your um, 
one of your field of your life is going to be a little bit um, chaotic while the other one is going to be pretty good you know it's going to be pretty well established and instead of doing the uh, natural response trying to uh, fix the one that it is in havoc and jeopardizing the other with these actions fix to the one that it is granted to you that it is promised to you instead and allow the one that wreaked the havoc to deal with the havoc and the last card that we do have for you, this is going to be the energies that are to support you. We do have the Ace of Swords here, and it is accompanied in this, in this particular case by uh, or catalyzed by the Four of Wands. And these energies will help you to have enough of it. It's as simple as that, you know. It is just you're going to say, you know, I am... Uh, that's... I don't know how to say it in English. How do you say it, guys? It's uh, In our country, the expression is... I am up until here and now go no or nor a single step any further in this particular uh, conditions. So uh, long story short here, these energies will uh, help you in a sense of that you're not going to be afraid to speak the truth or in other words, to speak what you what you think uh, in this particular case, you know, to tell to this person, well, you did that, that mess. So you have to do it. You you have to clean it up. I mean, you can't expect um, you to you to destroy and to uh, and to bring ruin and everything that you have achieved, and then uh, to expect from me, from myself, you know, to uh, sustain it and to revive it. It's not gonna happen. I mean, you um, you pretty much did stupid things and now you have to suffer the consequences of it and i'm not going to be the one who is going to plummet with the ship if you allow the ship to plummet so it's pretty much this is what these energies are gonna help you to um to divulge in general so it's kind of like being a bit mean uh but necessarily mean because otherwise uh it will be a, a display of a weak character or at least this is how that person knights of pentacles is gonna take it for and um when you do so when you allow those energies to unfold you know and you don't give a don't give a damn anymore you know how that person is gonna take what you are to say and what, how you are to act in other words for learning them into their mess uh, they will no longer uh, kind of going to count on you for that extent. What I mean is that they are not going to uh, count on you for cleaning their mess. Because there are these kind of people, you know, they think that um, whatever they do, uh, the, the knight in shining armor is going to come around and is going to fix everything. No different than the, than the kid that does... Um, uh, that, that, that pretty much does stupid things. I don't know how to say it. It's kind of like does bad things and because knows that his daddy is going to save him. He, his daddy pretty much is going to save the day here. Uh, th that person will no longer take you as uh, their, um, their lifeline. A lifeline was the word that I was searching for. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your a monthly tarot reading, guys, for uh, November 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.